Good morning, everyone. Today, the giant anteater and a bit about the Amazon rainforest. But before that, uh, uh, you can find out more about that in the caption below. All right. So, Giacomo right now, you can see him, he is currently sleeping uh, back there in the back of his enclosure. So, the thing about anteaters is that they will sleep for around 15 hours a day, and they will also use their tail as almost like a blanket. They'll use that a canopy over themselves. Uh, but if he wasn't sleeping right now, he would be walking around and being a bit more energetic. Anteaters in the wild territory, which is about a mile every day. They do this because they're always walking around and searching for food. Now, the termites, ants, and other insects, and they can eat about 35,000. Insects are also very high in protein, which is good for them because they need that to keep walking around in search of food. Anteaters usually wouldn't leave the sort of territory that they have uh, unless they're going out for a search for a mate or escaping a predator. Now, I also have to tell you about some cool anteaters have to get insects. Giant anteaters have one of the longest tongues in the animal kingdom, almost two feet long. That and their long snout makes it a lot easier for them to be able to stick their nose and tongue into small holes in other sort of areas that insects or termites will live and get. Along with that, they also have incredible can be used to cut open things like termite mounds, which can be as hard as rock. So this is just some ways that they use sort of their adaptations to better suit their lives. Now giant anteaters typically live around uh, the jungles of Central America, and especially in the Amazon. Now, today is because I needed to share a special message about the Amazon and the problems that are going on down there. Now, in the Amazon rainforest, there's unfortunately a lot of deforestation happening, and it's really affecting animals in the ecosystem of that region. 15% of the Amazon has been completely destroyed, and that's usually due to farming, ranching, and general deforestation uh, in use for their, for their products. Now, some animals, especially like giant anteaters. Now, they have a population of around 5,000 in the wild, but unfortunately, since the decline of their natural habitat, they have been listed as vulnerable, which is essentially one step away from being considered endangered. And anteaters are just one example of countless of species of both animals and plants that are being critically endangered by this practice of deforestation. Unfortunately, it can only take about 25% of the Amazon rainforest to be deforested in order for it to have severe impacts of the wildlife population there. So it is imperative for us to really focus on helping to save this wonderful natural ecosystem. Now, there are some great ways that you can do this. One is to donate to charitable organizations that help to preserve this region. Many of them work with either companies, local people, or natives in the rainforest to help preserve certain areas and help regrow to any trees that have been cut down. Some great organizations are like the Amazon uh, Conservation Team, the Amazon Conservation Association. Those are just two which are great and are great to donate to. The second way which you can help is by just making sure you're doing great research on the products you're using and to manage the products that you're using. Certain products are made from harmful ways that sort of extract and exploit uh, our natural resources around the world, and especially in the Amazon. So doing research on your products to make sure they're made in sustainable ways that don't harm the environment is a way to make sure you're protecting our ecosystems around the world and helping to protect species like our anteater. Another way 
it's just sort of cut back on certain things that use trees and other uh, things that are deforested uh, to like that they create. An example is cutting back on the use of paper, as paper is made from trees and our many trees deforested in the Amazon are turned into paper products. So using more online resources if that's available to you or anything else that can cut back the use of paper is great. In all, and just in conclusion, a way we can really protect our anteaters and any other animal in our environments is to just make sure that we're going through our lives in ways that do not directly harm them and be able to coexist with each other. All right, do we have any questions from the chat? Yeah, what's the anteater's name? So the anteater's name is Giacomo. Any other questions? We have how old is he? Giacomo is 14 years old. He just turned 14 in January. Where is he? Somebody asked, where is he at? So right now we're in the Franklin Park Zoo, and he is in the Tropical Rainforest Building, which is home to many different animals that would normally reside in rainforest and other uh, humid climates. What's he doing? Right now, he's just sleeping. He's curled up in a ball, and has his tail over his body, which he uses to keep himself warm and protected. How many ants do they eat every day? Anteaters can eat around 35,000 ants a day. What's he like to play with? Or what's he like to do here at the zoo? Uh, well, we give him many different kinds of enrichment, which is just sort of ways you keep them uh, mentally stimulated and so they have stuff to do. One of his favorite is we give him, if you can see that right there, uh, it's a sort of an orange sort of maze that we put food in. And he uses his tongue and his snout to dig through the maze and find little traits we leave for him. Where would they be found in the wild? Uh, in the wild, they'd be found typically around the regions of Central America and in the Amazon rainforest. Ooh, someone wants to know what's a way they can help the anteater? So, great ways you can help the anteaters are by donating to charitable organizations that help preserve the Amazon, like the Amazon Conservation Team. Um, you can also make sure you're getting your products uh, from places that uh, make their products sustainably or from just cutting back on products that are made from trees. Alright, All right. so that's the end of our Zoo to You talk. Hope you guys learned something and I hope we can see you supporting the Amazon rainforest and all its wonderful creatures.